And I said this in one of my original videos talking about, can you incentivize PVP? And the answer is no. Uh, but New World, of course, is going to go down that route. Now, of course, they've apologized for some of the bugs. This is an update that came out today, not too long ago, about an hour ago. Talking about some of the changes that they're going to make to open world. How are we going to get people to flag an open world? The mistake that developers are making is where, where they say, let's start by reiterating our high, our high level vision. We want to create a game where PvE and PvP not only coexist, but support each other. And that doesn't work. PvPers don't support PvEers. The P, unless you make the game so that... Because and we're talking about from a balancing perspective. It's easier to balance PV... It's easier to balance... I should say, it's, e it's harder to balance PvP. To get things more balanced in terms of risk versus reward that's all we're talking about from a pvp is a risk versus reward scenario when it comes to combat in pvp in pve nobody cares if the life staff is broken nobody cares if hatchet is op because you just clear the content that you just clear the content that much faster if something is broken and not working correctly if there's a trait that is broken pveers are going to go onto the forum and say, hey, this trait or this perk is broken or this weapon isn't working properly or this skill is worth doing too much damage. They're going to sit there all quiet and abuse that shit to their heart's content. Where you really find the fine tuning for combat are in PvP related games. The reason being, or in competitive games, even from the PvE side, is where there's a leaderboard competitiveness towards uh, difficult combat, rotations, you know, min-maxing, etc. But for the casuals, that does not exist. And so this whole thread here is basically talking about forgive us for our shitty bu a buggy game, moving forward with open world PvP and how we're going to fix open world PvP by incentivizing people to coexist together. And it doesn't work. They make the comment here that they feel that 10% is a good uh, is a good reward. It's a shitty reward because PVPers don't really care um, for these incentives. The reason that they're flagged is because they want a PVP, not because they want more experience. Now, this will cause problems for the PVEers, as it goes on to state that the rewards for PVP kills are meaningful, and they are, but they're limited in what they state moving forward. It says that end game, however, the rewards for flagging are not good they're just not existent because you're already at end game you've maxed out your level character and you've already maxed out your your weapons you've gotten all your weapon points so there's no real perks uh, except for maybe a drop that you might get but if you're already maxed out in terms of your gear then there's literally no point in flagging the only reason that you would flag which is the primary reason why people compete against each other it's because they have a competitive spirit and they want to pit themselves against other players. We do this in real life when it comes to basketball, football, hockey, etc. Weightlifting, right? You lift with guys that are a little bit older than you. You lift weight with guys who are a little bit stronger than you. If you're competitive in the monetary space, you hang out with wealthier individuals. Why? Because iron sharpens iron. So one man's face sharpens that the other. People who don't, who are not competitive rely on competitive people if they didn't humanity would starve the reason why you see many of these other people just from a from a socio-economic standpoint the only reason that many of these non-competitive people can even exist is because of people who go out there and want to compete for resources and bring them back to their tribe and if that tribe is useful for them then they can be useful for for children for they can be utilized as slaves they'll be kept around we're talking old school but if these people were literally useless towards their society towards their tribe they would be casted out this is the same problem that exists within pvp mmo games the primary issue is that you have a lot of non-competitive people that are being thrown in with competitive people and then they're saying coexist and that you're equal they're not competitive people by nature are superior to non-competitive individuals and this is what you have as an issue 
in New World, and not just in New World, but in all MMOs. People who want to go out there, compete, and show off their skills, or become better at life, or in a video game, or in a shooter, right? Doesn't matter what it is, are of higher value than those who refuse to compete, because that's just life. And life is won by those who compete. And of course, from the human standpoint, the only reason that many of these individuals, and we're talking about individuals who are dis dis you know, disabled, overweight, lazy, the only reason that they're literally allowed to exist is because other individuals are competing on their behalf. Just look at the military, police, etc., firefighters, right? This doesn't work in video games and they're trying to remove and give this fantasy facade that you guys over here are just as important as these guys over here and that's not the case if you want the game to flourish from a pvp standpoint you've got to prioritize competitiveness because that's what sells on twitch it's what people look at on youtube and if you want more eyes on your game because you're competing against other video games then you've got to be willing to prioritize competitiveness and this is what people will look for this is what people will watch what are the top games that people watch on twitch the primarily competitive games just look at them look at the most games that uh, gross the most revenue they're competitive games the most highest grossing game was a shooter and it's because this is what people want by and large but when you take these casual role players and you try to put them in with people who are trying to compete and showcase their skill they do not coincide especially when it comes to trying to incentivize these people to be these people it just doesn't work and i prove it this is they're just basically in this little first two paragraphs is how they're going to incentivize pvpers and i literally did this video already and i was like you know what let me just go to the forums and automatically it's already there why should pvp players have more luck than pve players and the crying already begins this post hasn't been out an hour and i've said this and i will continue to say it. you cannot incentivize non-competitive people to be competitive it does not work either you make a game that is geared towards drawing competitive players and this is the mistake that the new new world made over a year ago when they turned their backs on pvpers and went the route of pve and you can see how buggy and laggy the you know the, the game is today because they didn't focus on basically making sure that all these things were working accordingly. Instead, now they had to make all this PVE and side missions and side quests and PVE, you know, uh, copy pasted little areas that they had to go to appease these people. And the moment you even try to give PVP or something that PVPers have to compete for, they're just going to cry on the forums. And new, I said this in my last video. The Elder Scrolls Online tried this. It doesn't work. It never will work because the people that you're trying to get to be competitive don't want to compete. That is just a fact. And the more you try to ignore this fact, it will just make it harder. As the, as the very the very beginning is, why should PvP players have more luck than PvEers? You're gonna lose PvEers like this, right? And you just go through it. I'll link it in the description and you can enjoy the tears that are flowing over just offering an incentive to PVPers, to PVEers, and anything, anything worthwhile that you lock behind a PVP paywall, the tears will flow regardless. This doesn't happen with PVPers. I'm sitting here grinding these same moms for one to 60, but this is what we know that we have to do. But the other group is a completely different story anyway feel free to like comment and subscribe leave below your thoughts there's going to be a shit show moving forward i guarantee it